So the okay, thank you for the recording. So the next uh, presentation will be from Kentaro Teramoto, and he will give us his uh, presentation on running Omnet++ in the browser. So without further ado, it's yours. Okay, thanks. Okay, so um, I'm Jigen. Uh, just just uh, my full name is uh, Kento Teramoto, but just call me Jigen. And uh, today I'd like to talk about the, this title. And uh, okay, so first of all, just um, let me show a demo of the first example of Omnet++ Plus Plus TikTok in web browser. Can you see this? Here and uh, this is um, yeah configuration dialog and we can choose the uh, network and uh, we can run the step like this and uh, also just uh, we can run run button usual run button and we can stop it and uh, basically this is uh, what I made and uh, I will talk about this in uh, this session and uh, in this and in the end of this talk I will share the demo page URL and uh, take time for you to try it okay so um, okay so let me introduce myself um, I'm Kento Teramoto and just call me Jigen and uh, I'm working for Melkari and as a research engineer and uh, now I'm work on the CRISP, the quantum internet simulator package, simulation package. Uh, I'll talk about it later. And uh, I have uh, seven years of work, working experience in web development. Uh, here is the agenda. And uh, just first, uh, I will talk about the background and uh, why I made it, the motivation, and then just the, uh, which kind of technologies to build uh, this or port this. And then just finally, I want to uh, talk about, the, share the discussion topics and future plans or like that. Okay, let's go. Um, first of all, just let me introduce the quantum computers. The quantum computer is a um, um, totally different type of computer and using the quantum mechanical effects to perform the computation. Um, there, there are possibilities to become faster to solve some particular problems than current digital computation computers in the future, like um, 10 years or 20 years, right? Maybe later. I don't know well about that, but just it's um, maybe far future. Um, the, 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 for example, the uh, most famous al algorithms in the is a uh, Shor's algorithm. This algorithm, algorithm uh, solves the prime number factorization problem in uh, polynomial time. So it's so faster on the current digital uh, computers. And the, so the, the quantum internet, the quantum internet connects the coming uh, quantum computers for the quantum communication and the quantum internet transfers some quantum data uh, in end-to-end. -end. This consumes some the distributed resource called uh, bell pairs. And uh, it's a set of uh, qubits. Qubit, uh, qubits is uh, some quantum version of the current digital bits. And that have uh, the, in the set, there are some um, weird, uh, behavior called uh, and the uh, in the quantum internet use this uh, phenomena and the uh, the quantum internet needs some strong support of the current internet we have today and the okay so the crisp the crisp is an open source quantum internet simulator using Omnet plus plus uh, five. And Omnet, uh, CRISP is uh, developed by the Aqua Research Group headed by the Professor Rodney Vermeter at Keio University, uh, Shona Fujisawa campus in Japan. And uh, I've been contributing to CRISP for almost one year. 
And then currently, the CRISP doesn't have a function to simulate the uh, internet working. So this actually, this is a simulator of quantum repeater networks now. And uh, one of the purposes is to simulate the quantum internet at large scale. And the uh, CRISP includes the quantum bit simulation with error propagation model. And the uh, CRISP focuses on the uh, on the emergent behavior, like um, the or what's happening about the congestion collapse or something like that. And also just the what's the optimal protocol design or what's the good network architecture for the quantum internet. Okay, so just uh, let me uh, show our crisp on the, the my web browser, and the um, the like this, and this is a uh, the simple one, and uh, it's working like this, and uh, and also we can check the which packet is uh sent and received and uh okay here is uh lots of photons here because just quantum internet means the uh sending photons to the um some device and create the bill pairs um it's a kind of some resource the um it's a kind of resource and uh, it's the key of the quantum internet but i don't want to talk about uh detail of the quantum internet but just i want to show you the um this works on the web browser and here is uh, another module of the quantum internet uh quantum uh nick network interface card and um there are these are um, module of the qubit. It's sorry for it's um, it's hard to see it. And just sending the photons through the lens and uh, like that. So and uh, so just I want to talk about the why I run it as far as in web browser. Because it's the reason is simple. It's hard to use build omnet plus plus for the non-developers like a physicists or university students and the engineers who are not familiar with C plus plus or new make. And the the why I need to uh, collaborate with the physicists is a uh, just reason is simple. Just the quantum internet is a uh, still developing and researching and uh, um, it's not realized yet and uh, still we need uh, lots of experiments uh, for their uh, the quantum physics uh, stuff so um, I need to collaborate with them but uh, there were the docker image is provided by the omnet plus plus it's so useful for me but uh, it's not popular among the physicists because they are not a developer and uh, they, they uh, usually um, just uh, calculate something or um, some, do some experiments about the uh, optical fibers or some optical stuff. And uh, a few months ago, just I need to collaborate with some uh, physicists and uh, who one physicist who is uh, familiar with Linux uh, tried to build Chris, but he cannot build it. And uh, finally, he gave up because um, he, I don't know what's happening, but uh, the final it doesn't work. And uh, uh, just I feel I don't want to waste time for these problems. So then just the, I found the possibility to use the web assembly because just I was a web developer and uh, um, personally I wanted to try web assembly so the this project is uh, my hobby project and uh, 
just I tried to put in the omnet plus plus into uh, web assembly. So if the um, omnet plus plus running in web web browser, um, this must be a fastest way to join the quantum internet research. Maybe there is not not need to to be a quantum uh, other uh, research or some uh, development. Uh, this uh, this project must be a, um, just has a good effect to that. So that's that was the uh, motivation, and uh, I I want to uh, introduce the uh, how to do that. Okay, so this is um uh, basic flow, basic build flow, and uh, basically the M script then compiles everything like a uh, Qt and Omnet plus plus libraries and uh, simulator models, and then just the this uh produces the html files and web assembly binary and javascript okay so i want to uh, talk about the web assembly web assembly is a key technology of this project and uh, this is a binary execute executable format on web browser it looks like this yeah it's not so much interesting but just i want to say it's a binary and the, also there is um, some human readable text format like this, and uh, the this called what uh, WebAssembly text format, and uh, this uses the describing by the S expression like a Lisp language, and uh, as you can as you see the WebAssembly is a binary format and the it's nearly as fast as native code. And the, the important things is uh, that you can run WebAssembly on modern browser like uh, Firefox, Chrome, and Safari. And the uh, WebAssembly runs like this. Just the um, modern web browser have a virtual machine inside uh, web the virtual machine for the WebAssembly inside their JavaScript engine. So the when the page uh, opened, uh, JavaScript loaded and JavaScript also loads the WebAssembly module from the server and then just uh, work it. The, the WebAssembly uses the stack based virtual machine inside the JS engine and the uh, WebAssembly can manipulate the elements in the document, like some the H1 or div or some elements in the page through the um, DOM API in the JS. So because just the uh, WebAssembly cannot manipulate the, the element in the document directory, it's because the WebAssembly uh, is uh, so low level and uh, it doesn't have a way to specify a DOM element now. And WebAssembly only has uh, numeric types. And okay, so let me summarize just the WebAssembly can the communicate with the JavaScript, but cannot directly communicate with DOM API. And uh, so it's a uh, um, according to the designs of the WebAssembly specification, uh, it is a complement to our JavaScript, not a replacement to JavaScript. Okay, so the next is a uh, Qt amp. It is a um, GUI of the uh, Omnet Plus Plus, and probably you already saw the Qt amp like the screenshot. Uh, this is um, the uh, native desktop application. So there is no um, URL, uh, no address bar or something like that. And then, and also Qt, the, this logo is a logo of the Qt and the Qt is a framework, a uh, much platform application framework. It's famous as a GUI framework. And, 
Usually, uh, when we open the Omnet plus plus IDE and run the simulation, then you will see the simulation window that is a uh, cube amp. And the fortunately, the from the Qt 5.12 WebAssembly is supported. So we can compile the Qt application into WebAssembly and you can run it in your web browser. In the screenshot, I tried to compile some Qt example text editor into WebAssembly and open it my web browser. So uh, here you can see the address bar of the Chrome web browser. Okay, so far uh, I introduced WebAssembly and Qt and Omnet plus plus Qt AMP. Okay, so let me go next the M script in the center of this diagram. M script is a um, compiler, compiler tool chain for WebAssembly. M script contains a compiler, linker, archiver and other useful tools to create a web page with assembly. Like um, includes the HTML files, uh, JavaScript source and WebAssembly binary. And also MScript supports the POSIX thread partially and also OpenGL, OpenL. So you can um, use the OpenGL application or some uh, audio stuff using these APIs. And uh, the important thing is uh, uh, MScript can compile the portable C, C++ code base into WebAssembly. The important is uh, portable, it must be portable. Okay, so just the more detailed uh, build flow of the uh, WebAssembly compile flow. Um, basically, the MScript then do everything. And MScript then has a M++ command. Uh, it's a MScript version of the uh, GCC or Clan C, Clan plus plus or something like that. And uh, this uh, M++ compiler will uh, compile the Qt and Omnet++ libraries and simulation models into the object files. And then just the MAL, the makes the static library. The important things is uh, it must be your static now. And uh, finally, the linker will link everything using uh, includes the cute uh, library, cute 5 gui.a or live opp mbio.a or live opp cute ma and also simulation models. So finally, the WebAssembly file become uh, big. Okay, so now I the, introduce the how to to make the WebAssembly module. So next is a file. When we open the browser and uh, browse the WebAssembly modules, the the Omnet plus plus needs the um, files like Omnet pp dot INI and uh, some net files are needed when we run our simulation. So MScript M provides a um, virtual file system and uh, MScript M also has a file package to uh, just uh, make uh, the packages of package of the all files and uh, uh, finally it will be loaded into a memory. And, and then just the the compiled code can read or write uh, the files inside in their web browsers. And so like this, the um, mscript tense file package packages all specified files into wasm.data files. And uh, also just file is generated. And uh, this file knows the tree of the package of files, like uh, uh, which file uh, placed in which path or like that. 
And in this demo, I specified the um, actually everything inside the uh, code base. So it, it must be huge. And uh, after packaging the file into the wasm.data file, uh, browser loads the, this file from the server and then uh, generated JS file extracts the package files uh, from wasm data into memfs. Memfs is um, the library within JS and uh, it's, it has uh, some similar uh, API for the Node.js is the FS library. So actually the, um, you can uh, edit the .NET file through the uh, JavaScript developer console in your web browser now. And okay, so uh, here is a list of repositories in this project. Plus one is um, the modified Omnet plus plus uh, the repository for WebAssembly. I changed a little bit about the um, the Qt amps uh, Q dialog or uh, something, and the Q dialog has. Um, exec method uh, okay. like uh, this is a diff and uh, the problem is this line the q dialog calls the exec method this will create some the new event loop in new thread and uh, but basically the web browser do not allow to create uh, more than two main loops because it works as a single thread. So just uh, I fixed it to uh, some kind of ridiculous way, like uh, using the mscript and script to wait, uh, stop the WebAssembly uh, thread and just uh, the hand over the, the control flow to the web browser side from the WebAssembly side. And then just uh, in that time, the a uh, web browser can re-render uh, re the um, the page and then just uh, do handle, can handle some the event like uh, click or touch or something. And the finally the some event changer changes the um, this uh, the using the disconnect and uh, change the value to true. And then the wait, uh, oh, sorry, wait the uh, 10 millisecond, uh, check the this variable is true or false. And then if uh, it's false, uh, no, it's true, just go next. So this is a basic change of the, um, I, in this repository. And the, yeah, to adopt MScript chain and web browser. And one more thing, one more repository, Omnet pp wasm repository. This contains the build script and Docker image to, uh, to uh, compile some simulation models into the WebAssembly easily. But actually I haven't write some I haven't written some documents not yet, so uh, right, I will. Uh, right, I will write it. And the uh, size of WebAssembly binary, the for the TikTok uh, has uh, twenty five megabytes. It's so huge, and because it includes the all libraries, it's bring statically everything into one file. And the um, current limitation is um, I haven't uh, no open scene graph support. Um, I tried, but it doesn't work. So let me try another build. And uh, currently no mobile device support because the queue does not handle the touch event as quick or something like that. So just we can open their page, but and uh, 
we can see the omnet plus plus uh, display, but the um, I, um we cannot uh, manipulate everything. And uh, now cannot edit the net files on web browser and uh, no result analysis. And the and still it's unstable. Like uh, if you try to write quick, it causes crash, and some dialogues cause crash, and uh, and it's hard to debug, and uh, it's large binary. Maybe the dynamic linking will uh, solve this problem. And um, I want to talk about the future plans. Like uh, basically, make building to wasn't easily input just um, on, uh, improve the build script and Docker image, and uh, also just Omnet plus plus C. The current repository is for the Omnet plus plus fives based on the Omnet plus plus five. So maybe just the, I want to I will um, adapt to the Omnet plus plus six. Maybe CMake is uh, might be easy, and uh, and also yeah, I talked about this dynamic linking. Just separate the libraries into the separated WebAssembly modules and um, shared it. And uh, and the second the um, yeah, I want to edit the net files on the web browser, so I will try to. Uh, not um, just creating some IDE to uh, manipulate the net files on the web browser. And if, I don't know, I, I haven't tried, but just uh, port the Eclipse net editor into WebAssembly might be um, interesting. Okay, so just um, maybe this is the main discussion topics like. Uh, um the how can we use this like uh, if the simulation is um interactive and uh, it's uh, shared to the um audience at the conference or universities university classes um yeah it might be interesting so i want to discuss about this uh, if you have any idea let me know Okay, thank you for listening. Just I will share the URL into the this code. So just uh, let's try it. Here and also just I want to share this on the uh, Zoom chat. Let's try it, but. Uh, be careful, um, it might take your machine's resource, CPU and memory, so just um, uh, be careful. Thanks for listening. That's all for me. Okay, thank you for the interesting presentation and of course, if Thanks. anybody has any questions or any comments, you're welcome to share them either here uh, or in the chat. Um, I would have a question regarding, so uh, mm -hmm. thank you for a really interesting presentation. I think that's a pretty great or mm -hmm. interesting technology. I have heard about it before. Uh, oh. What I did not get is um, so the the procedure is oh. that you have to you have to host the file server somewhere and then I just hook into this file server and download the actual executable. Just from a user's perspective, what's the workflow? Uh, uh, so, sorry, uh, could you could you talk it? Sorry, I'm not good at. Uh, yeah, okay. To, to I'm just curious. So, so once I'm now uh, connecting to your server, I think I will end up with a simple plain file server or did i got it right so uh, you my need browser to, uh, will then download the actual binary files to execute them yeah the actual the um 
binary, the WebAssembly binary. Like, uh, can, can you see the, my uh, developer tools in the screen? Yeah. OK. The, here is, um, maybe it's, it's, actually, your uh, browser will download everything. Like, uh, the, it's compiled into the WebAssembly. Like, uh, this includes the all uh, binary, like, uh, Qt library, Qt framework, and the uh, Omnet++ plus plus is the uh, libraries, and also simulation models everything and also here is the uh this is the data and the this data contains the all files so um you can check the look like this this is um literally it's a virtual file system so uh like a home directory and dev or uh, here is the uh, modules and networks and make the, this is uh, my fault, but actually we don't need the make file in the browser. So, but the, currently you have, uh, your browser will download everything like this. And also just uh, and check it with file. Um, Example make file. Oh, sorry, make file. This is not here. Okay, so Q and I'll see, and here is a uh, just binary the uh, encoding oh but yeah your browser will download everything mm -hmm. and here is the um qdm brc the configuration file generate it yeah okay and did you already make a, a workflow with a physicist, for example? So how can they interact with the with the, the model source code then? Or how do they uh, change the simulation? The oh, what the you mean the how do uh, for example change? changing the network or whatever? Um the for the for the for uh, collaborating with the physicists. Yeah, for example, yeah. Um, they're actually not yet. I, the, um, I want, finally, I want to do that. Like, uh, physicists want to know something and uh, they, uh, they uh, changed the net file uh, by themselves and then just mm -hmm. uh, uh, run simulation and uh, they uh, understand what's happening inside the proposed uh, protocols. That's the the my goal, but uh, actually not yet. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thanks. As a question, how much you had to uh, play with the build system itself to actually build Omnet? with M script them. So uh, did you need a lot of modifications for the configure script and stuff like uh, that? Basically, it's not so much. Um, OK, I will share the diff. Uh, the build script doesn't do anything. So just the, um, this has the Basically, where was that? Uh, configure is uh, simple and uh, okay. So first, oh, where is the configure? This is just uh, I avoided some um, uh, bugs, uh, no errors um, in some. Uh, not good way. 
And uh, this is the new configured user disk. And uh, basically, I changed some part, like uh, just disable the OSG and uh, uh, disable power estimation and, uh, and share, disable shared ribs. This is the big point because just the, basically the M script then doesn't have a, a feature for the dynamic linking. It's still experimental feature. So just um, now I disable the shared ribs and, uh, and also change the, um, some the uh no nothing nothing for this yeah uh, probably so disable tcl tk tk i guess yeah 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 yeah, yeah too and uh, i changed something i added some flags like a uh, whole linking uh like this for this is a uh, specific for the m script yeah? to like uh, a sync file is a feature to use the m script and sleep function and uh, and also disable p thread and uh, um specify the uh web geo or um no exit and and also the here is uh, how to specify the files to package like uh, preload means just the package the uh, some files, specified files into the wasm.data file. So like uh, wasm Qt mbrc file become a .qt mbrc and package it. And also the disable ex exception cach catching. Yeah, some, there are many, some the weird options here and uh, um, this is the most hardest part. Anyway, just the, uh, and also the optimizing and the OS means just the size optimization and the, and also we can add some the JS uh, post JS to pass some argument to the uh, Omnet PP simulator and also create need to create some HTML file or like that just yeah that's the what I modified and also just the, as i explained the lots of if they have m scoop 10 and uh, avoid the clash because just the um like uh, when when i click the light uh do light click just it's gonna be like this and there uh, this caused by the another uh, main loop detected and yeah. uh, it, mm -hmm. it might be crashed. I see. So basically, the, when we open the uh, simulator, uh, the run selection dialog comes up and uh, it will crash faster. So just the, to do a uh, simulate like this, um, I need to uh, write some kind of if they close and uh, write lots of um some snippets like this to avoid inside the M script and sweep and just wait with while loop. Yeah, that's all. And any other things is uh just the some um debugging stuff for me. So later I want to clean up this to uh just make uh, some substantial changes only. Yep. Is that okay? Yeah, I guess, thank you. Okay, thank you for asking. This is quite neat. I'm really, I really like the idea that uh, this can be used for conferences or universities to, to make live demos. Andres, we can't hear you well. Yeah, increase so him. Yeah, could you speak louder or increase the volume? Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, Much better. Yeah, good. Okay, 
So I'm really fond of the idea that uh, this could be used, for example, at conferences or universities, with presentations, because then the the audience can a lot easier. It can be a lot easier for the audience to try simulations. And I've got two two questions. That uh, you said that uh, currently it's not possible to see the simulation results, but you said that the 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 simulation that's executable can write into the temporary files into the in-memory file system so would it be technically possible to to uh, download uh, the result files from that uh, in-memory file system uh yeah yeah yes we can we can um the basically the we can see the the simulator will write the logs or vector files into the this memo fs and uh, finally the um we can download we can see it so um and there is uh some kind of the html5 uh download api so we can create the new file inside the browser and uh, we can just download as uh from the server as like from the server so yeah that's the good point um that's the uh what what i have to do fast because just uh, i can just take the uh logs that's useful before building the dominant plus plus uh be, no before building the simulator yeah that's that's a good point thanks I will I will add some notes about this and uh, uh, upload it upload the slides somewhere. Thanks. And what's the next question? Yeah, uh, I think the the central issue seems to be that uh, limitation that there can be only one event loop active. So was it? Yeah. Um, so is there um, a way around it? So is it is it some option that you have chosen with the M scripting, or or is it something that uh, you can you can circumvent and 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 have maybe more more nested event loops because that would make it easier to run dialogues and for example the context menu is would also work so on. Um, uh, so you mean just the other way to uh, avoid the creating event loop like yeah. the um the one way i think is uh the using the the much thread because the this states the uh web browser supports the uh web worker web worker is uh creates another thread from the javascript and also there is the future code the uh shared array buffer it's a kind of a shared memory for the match threading and uh, if i if it works um the yeah we don't need to uh write such um some uh some uh changes like this but uh, i tried to do it to run the uh omnet plus plus with the match thread into web assembly but uh, um it's hard to uh do it uh maybe the my repository has the um just some trial for the month threading um but it doesn't work well maybe the um because maybe the uh i put the um the branch here and the uh let's say the the basic problem is it's might be the my uh my the the lack of knowledge about Qt. the i tried to the much much threatening but the, um, it doesn't work well so Maybe the there is another way to do it. I'm sorry, but uh, I have to interrupt you. It uh, it looks like it's very interesting, and there are more questions there. 
but we will have to move it to another slot or another channel because okay. it's uh, eleven sixteen. So the next round of uh, conversations is beginning. Okay, so it's thanks. the yeah again yeah thank you very much. It was interesting as you could see people were interested. So 